my friends are sins. Following on from my glorious live performance at Attack release in Glasgow the other night, I am now heading through to Edinburgh to play at the Supper Club in the Safari Lounge. I am about to get the bus, but I just have to wait on my comrade Gordon, aka Tupper Werewolf, who I believe at this moment is running frantically up Buchanan Street since he was a wee bit delayed. <sighs> You're like so red. <laughs> Could you run the whole way? What the way? Cool. What the way? Well, you made it. Oh, Fucking trams. Fucking weird dress. Mmm. This is a really fucking far walk. Quite far. Too far. Too far for me. I don't like that it's like as far as you can see and then further. <laughs> Fuck me. Gotta show off some culture for my American swines that watch mm. this channel. That building is older than the whole of America. I believe it. It's true. I believe it. Ugh. This is steeper than I remember. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? Not bad. Here in Edinburgh. Cool wee place. A wee place, man. I've frozen the camera here so that you can kind of see the painting on the wall there, which I meant to get a much better picture of, but unfortunately I failed like I do so often. But this is actually a picture of a fire on a beach, which is perfect, or would have been perfect, because my last album, which you should go by and listen to, was named So You Made It To The Fire. So this was a nice symbolic thing. Go listen to it. Go buy it. I'm just gonna document this to make sure. <laughs> For the insurance claim. <laughs> uh, not wearing my full PPE. I need, I need a, a hat. I'm clipped in as well. <laughs> how are you? Fine. Yeah? Uh, how do you think it'll go? Depends how drunk I get. How drunk will we get? Well, we've got two hours, so... incredibly well and I have a whole host of adoring new fans. That is even in spite of the fact that during the first song I realised that the cable I was using was incredibly scratchy and had to switch it out post haste. And then of course the two times that I managed to blow up the PA. However, I've been reliably informed that this is a safari lounge rite of passage. So, you know, I mean it's fairly rock and roll isn't it to blow up the PA? Isn't it? Oh well, anyway that was it and then we had to run to try and get the night bus which was his own cacophony of disasters. <laughs> Garden bar. Yes. 
What are we doing now? We're trying to go home. Go home. But it's proving challenging. We're trying to go and make glass go. But we can't. We can't go home. There's roadworks in Edinburgh. Surprise, surprise. Can't even buy booze at this fucking time. There's a fox over there. Is he a fox is in Edinburgh? Oh, Ugh. I've lost my wallet. We don't know where the bus goes from. At least with the train, it can only go from one place. Gordon's had enough of my shit. Fucking Edinburgh. <gasps> What's that? Some, uh, That's a bus. What the fuck? This way. Don't get in the bus. Gardens taking us into this hellscape. Whoa! Barbecue. Look at the colonel. Yes, yes. Garden. Yes. Where are we? Glasgow. What time is it? 4 a.m. Why is it 4 a.m.? Because the bus never fucking. This is the truth. This is the reality of electronica. What a nightmare. That was a very pleasant evening. The gig was great. Lots of nice people. But waiting two and a half hours for a bus, they never turned up because the road was closed and there was no signs. And then trying to get a taxi in Glasgow was awful, awful. I should have just slept in the streets. And I've lost my wallet. Some Edinburgh JK is probably buying all sorts of synthesizers with my American Express card. Fuck. And to top it all off, this video is shite.